All right, let's get started. I'm just gonna take this off by undoing that knob. Pull that up. We're gonna work on this first. You gotta get that ring out of there. Uh, sticking your screwdriver in and up. Kind of keep your finger over it just so it doesn't go flying somewhere. I'm just going to clean this stuff out. Check those drag washers and replace them if we need to. And if not, we'll just stick them back in with some uh, added lubrication or something on there. Alright, they have a little bit of wear, but they look pretty good. So I just clean them off. I'm going to stick them back inside there. And I'm going to add some oil to them. I'm using an Abu Garcia uh, real oil for this. Just putting a couple of drops around it. It'll kind of work its way inside there. Uh, first metal keyed washer. Then you have your your second uh, felt washer. Then you have the eared metal washer. Let's stick inside those two channels right there. Then your final felt, and then your final keyed washer. this back in. We're going to just kind of stick it in sideways like that and just push down and in. Now we can add a little bit of grease to the bottom right here just on top of that and a little bit on top of this line keeper. All right now let's go ahead and work on the rotor and the bill assembly. I'm going to undo this knob now at this point just so I can get it taken out of the way. There's the pieces that you have under it. Just pull it straight out. <clears throat> and now I'm going to pull that stack up. Now we can undo that set screw and undo the nut. Clockwise to remove it, I think. Yeah, it is. Kind of pull that up. Let's take off this quick trigger. A screw right there. Just comes out like that. We're going to do that screw, that screw, and that screw. I'm going to keep these separate just in case. Under this line roller, Let's see what we have under there. Oops, I'm gonna keep that intact. Just have a screw, and all you have here is the line roller, a washer, then a metal air washer. I'm sorry, that metal washer there. All right, that's it. I'm just gonna clean it up, come back to you, show you put it back together. All right, let's start with putting the line roller back together. A little bit of grease kind of around inside there. And for this stuff right here, you can use oil if you want to. I'm gonna stick this on there, just like that. And you'll notice that this has a little bit of a wider end. The wider end is facing towards the bail wire. I'm sorry, the bail arm. And I'll stick a washer on there. Just like so. <clears throat> a little bit of grease.
used to that. There's a little raised end on the inside. That'll be facing towards the line roller. Kind of like that. We're just gonna drop it in place and secure it. I'm not going all the way down on this yet, but I am going to kind of keep it intact. All right, we can add some grease to that bottom part there. Just kind of around there. That should work. Some on this side as well. Inside the hole, around that little block. And that should be good enough. Now for this bale spring, you notice that there's a smaller opening at one end than the other. This is going through the smaller opening. Just like so. Now I'm going to add some grease to right here. Kind of where that trip arm just kind of rides. A little bit inside here where that spring sits around the post. And I think that's probably about it. Drop in our bale wire, I'm sorry, our trip arm first. The longer end goes down. Make sure it's all the way to the top. Stick our bale spring in. Looking just like that. So that needs to be below the trip arm. Let me just kind of cover that up. That feels good. Set that to the side, we don't need that yet. All right, so the first thing I want to put on is this side. I'm gonna look for the hole that's right there. I am gonna add some grease to that hole. And that's where I'm sticking that pin through. When I get over, I'm gonna kind of push down and a little bit of a rocking, and then I get it set in place. <clears throat> now we can go and secure the side. Tighten this uh, line roller assembly down. That feels good. Now we can put this on. It's just going to sit on looking just like this. <clears throat> just like that. Let's jump to the inside of the reel. I'm gonna pull this off first. I'm gonna do this screw right here for the uh, for the dog. I won't be able to show you this until I put it back on, so I'm just gonna have it fall off and then I'll show it to you when I put it back on. Now we can hit these two screws here. And these are both the same size, I believe, so. No need to worry too much about that. <coughs> and now we can hit that screw there and that screw there to take the rub guard off. Notice the front one is smaller than the back one. Pull straight down on that. And now we have three screws to remove to open this up. Uh, yeah. I'm going to leave them intact just in case the sizes are different. Bottom. Top right for me. And they look to be about the same size. So I think we're all right there. See this comes up. Yay, came up. Screw right there to remove. Pull that up, get that out of there. And 
this is not moving. Punky Dory. Uh, I didn't want to touch it. Oh, I see why. Hmm. I might touch it. I don't know yet. All right, so all you have here is that. You have a spacer on top there. And that's it. I'm going to clean this stuff up, come back to you, show it, put it, put it back together. Okay, this bearing stayed on there, so we're going to leave it on there since it works. And we're not going to mess it mess it up. Add some grease to this, uh, to these gears. We're going to do the inside first and then work our way to the top. Then we're going to add some oil to these bearings. That's the pinion bearing right there. Gonna work that in a little bit. Hit the back with some grease. I'm gonna try to keep these spots right here open for you guys so you can see them. There's two arrows. Alright, so let's go ahead and stick some uh, grease inside that hole right there. That's too much. Some around there, some in right there. And alongside here. <clears throat> now you can drop the spring inside there. <clears throat> and with the block, or sorry, the Spine gear with the dot facing towards the bottom somewhere. All right, so while we're here, let's go ahead and grease the other side as well. Just a light amount of grease in that hole. All right, so our goal here is to line this up. So you want those two arrows going up and down like that. I line them up with the block. That looks about right. Let's see. Tightness right there. Either way, you gotta get this lined up properly. If you don't, then it just doesn't work right. All right, so we got that lined up properly. I'm gonna stick our block inside there. And now we can stick our shaft through. The flat side will be facing up. Then we can secure it with the screw here. I'm going to go ahead and grease this up, stick that in, and lock it in place. And then we'll cover it up afterwards. onto that plate or the back of that main gear so it doesn't uh, change orientation on you. Drop that down like that. And now we can cover it with these two screws right here. And feel pretty confident that we are in good shape. Cover that up like that. I'm gonna try it out just to make sure and it feels good. I'm gonna secure these screws. Now we're gonna do our rub guard. I'm gonna take this portion on first, just kind of like that. Then I'm going to stick this on top of it, looking just like that. And I'm going to secure this part first, go through that small hole right there. 
I don't over tighten these things. Okay, when you get to the bottom and this snug. Right there is good enough. You don't want to go too tight on those because you'll crack that post. All right. So now what we have left is sticking these back on there. It's kind of how they sit. Just like that. Now this spring here, I'm going to show you how it goes but it might still be a little bit difficult to see it. Essentially what you're doing is setting this up to where that little squared off end is gonna be fitting around this, kind of like this. Kind of looking just like, like that. So I'm going to drop that over that post right there. Hopefully we get a one shot. I think we did. I'm going to leave that loose for now. Don't need to worry about that yet. Secure it with the screw. Now we can take our screw, I'm sorry, our spring there. Flick that over that post that's right there. And now that's set. For this piece, you have a plastic piece, you have a spring there where to go. Still on there. I'm gonna have to be surrounded. But I do want you to notice that those two tabs on the top are different sizes. I'll show you the corresponding uh, section in the rotor in a sec. I'm going to kind of line that up. On this piece, there's a little hole that's inside there. You need to fit the tab of that spring through. And that's what we're looking for. Just like that. We're just going to set it over it. It's going to go between those two posts right there. got it all right cool all right so on the bottom here you'll see two corresponding slots here the larger slot will be going over the larger slot on this the smaller slot will be going over the smaller slot all right so I add a little bit of grease to the bottom where those are going to fit over those slots there and I'm just going to try to line this up right that's how we're doing if you're if the drag is engaged you can always test it by when you get to this point it needs to look flush there when you get to this point, it needs to stop because that's where your trigger finger will be. This is set up right. So if you had it where it was on this side, do it again, flip it to the other side uh, because that's where it should be. Just kind of lining that up so I can put the set screw back in. All right, now the last piece to do is the handle. Kind of get that cleaned up a little bit. All right, so we're gonna add some grease to right here. Got all around there. Here as well. Some of the top where that screw's gonna go through. And now we're just gonna stick this through and secure it. That little square needs to go through the square on the on the main gear. Make sure you slow this down pretty good. All right, guys. While I'm doing this, please don't get don't forget to hit that thumbs up button if you appreciated the video, and uh, consider subscribing to the channel as well if you appreciate content like this. Let's take our spool on after we get this click gear on, and we'll be good to go. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see y'all next time.